Hello designers, here's some exciting news for those of you who love using Lottie animations and design with Figma. Guess what? Now you can convert your Figma designs into Lottie animations with just a button click using the official Lottie Files plugin. Yes, you heard me right. This means less time spent convincing your developers to use your animations. All you need to do is hand them your Lottie file and they can make your animations come to life. So let's not waste any more time. Let's dive straight into Figma and learn how to use this amazing feature. We'll start with creating a basic animation and then take a look at some impressive examples from Lotte to understand what's possible. So here I have a brand new Figma file. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a frame. So let's take a square frame. Oh, let's keep it at 300 by 300. In this, I'm going to create something like a switch. A switch animation should be good. A switch toggle I'm talking about. So let's take a rectangle here. So one more thing to keep in mind is there are certain limitations in creating Lottie animations through Figma. So one of it is you can't use nested frames. That means you can't use a frame inside a frame right now. And also components, I believe. So make a note of that. So right now I'm just taking a rectangle. Probably these limitations would be fixed uh, with coming updates. And I'm going to make it completely rounded corners right here. And let's fill it with a blue color here. So something like a sky blue because I'm going to create something like a day and night switch. So that should look good. And that is done. And I'm going to duplicate this one and create the inner circle for this. So you just have to keep the height and width equal. And now what we're going to do is just duplicate this frame. So I'm going to duplicate it. In the second frame, you just have to create the next animation step. So it's going to go to the right. And let's change its color to a bit of a gray. That's quite Quite simple right and now you have your frame set and this one I'm just going to duplicate it once more so this is the first state this is the second state and this would be your third state and once you're done creating your states just go to plugins and search for Lotte just click on the first one the official Lotte files plugin if you're using this for the very first time it'll ask you to sign up just sign up and create an account it's totally free and here you find an option which says export to Lotte this is a new option so just click on that and here you have two options right so one is export to Lotte this is by selecting the frames or you can also select your flow right what are flows these are nothing but the flows that you create as a prototype so if you want to create a flow you just go to the prototype tab and start a new flow and link these screens so once you link the screens you can directly get the option to select the flow from here but right now just keeping it simple I'm just going to select all the frames here and click on export to Lotte and there you go guys your animation is ready well this is quite a simple animation you can do a lot of things i just wanted to keep it quick so that you get an understanding of how this is done so you just have to create your states and then click on export lotte and it's done and you can actually import this as a gif file if you want to use it on your prototypes or you can also save it to your workspace and once you save it to your workspace so let me just show you how to do it so i click on save and there you go now it's saved as a lotte file in your workspace and if you want to send this to your developers all you got to do is just click on this link here which says open in browser you'll be ending up on this screen right here where you can actually download and export this as a lottie file so here you have different options which is optimized the normal one so just click on the lottie json file and it'll basically download your new animation and all you got to do is just send this file to your developers and they can just drop it onto the app and implement the animation right so that being said let's move on to the next part of the video where i'll be showcasing you some of the amazing animations created by the lottie community so let me just go back to Figma here and in the community tab, you can search for Figma to Lotte animation inspiration. So this is a file by the official Lotte files community. So you can see there, there are a lot of things here. So just click on open in Figma. And once you do that file gets duplicated and you'll end up on this file right here. So here you can see there are different animations they have shown just for inspiration. So you can implement all these. These are just some of the possibilities that they're showcasing you. So to see this in action, just click on your plugins, select Lottie files that we just opened before and here you can see that you can just select uh, export to Lottie. So like I told you before here they have actually implemented flows. So if you see the prototype tab right here, there are actually all these different flows that they created. So if you do this, you can directly select the flow from here and it will show you the animation. So for example, let's click on the Twitter heart here. And there you go. This is actually this animation or the frames that you see here. This is an amazing micro interaction that they created and you can directly export this as a Lottie file and send it to your developers. So if you want to select it by frames, you can do is just select the frames right here and you can select the frames right here. So you have all these frames, select all your frames and click on this option, export to Lottie. And there you go. That is another method how you can view the animation. And once you're good with the animation, all you got to do is just save to your workspace and download it as a Lottie file and give it your 
developers, right? And that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And I can't wait to see what amazing Lottie animations you create in Figma. Do not forget to tag me on LinkedIn or Twitter anywhere. So I would love to see them. Remember to like, share and subscribe for more design tips and tricks. Until next time, happy designing.